Uh, it's true. I think, uh, first of all, like, uh, just so appreciative of Coach Barnes um, and their basketball team, you know, for having, you know, they've been very kind and generous to us since I've been at Tennessee Tech. Uh, even prior to that, when I was the head coach at, at Arkansas, he's always been just, uh, just great to me. And um, one of the great coaches, competitors, um, good human beings just to like, care about people. And, even when I was out of TV, I mean, when I was out of coaching, I was doing TV. I'll never forget. Um, I was in Tuscaloosa one night doing their game, um, and he asked me to come back in the locker room and wouldn't let me leave. I was actually almost late getting back out there to do my job. So uh, just incredibly appreciative to be here. Um, they're good. They're a little bit different than they have been in the past. Uh, they got a lot of shooting. Um, I'm sure they're excited to have the two guys back, Ziegler and Muscovy, and. Those guys have obviously got a lot of experience. Um, I think they're going to, you know, be really good. Proud of our basketball team. We haven't played real well yet. We've been a little bit disjointed just with injury and sickness and um, just a lot of guys out. Um, but I thought it's been good for us here early on to have to deal with hard. College basketball is hard. We talk about that all the time. Um, if you're going to be good at anything, hard has to be handled. And um, we try to collect as many good young men as we can. I think good people handle hard well. And I think hopefully this is a step for us in the, pub, in the right direction to um, deal with some disappointment in the right way. And you can play a little bit better. I thought we played pretty well both halves, honestly. Uh, we just didn't make any shots in the first half. Didn't make many more in the second half. Um, no doubt about it, they're, they're a problem for us. The environment was a problem for us. We're still very inexperienced in terms of actually playing time. Uh, but I'm proud of the guys. We, we got better tonight. Open up for questions. You mentioned that Tennessee is different this year, and, and you mentioned their shooting. Is, is that alone why you think they're different, or are there are other areas where you see them being different this year as well? You know, college basketball has changed. You know, and um, uh, I think. I don't know if it was last year or the year before last when Tennessee kind of got hot later in the year. I think they ended up going a little bit small, put more shooting on the floor. They made, you know, they got they got hot, made a run, whatever. I don't remember exactly. I'm not. You know, my allegiance is level someplace else. I'm not totally up on the Volunteers, but anyway, um, they are. They look, you know, yeah. I just think it's going to be a lot hard to handle. And again, they got so much, so much experience coming back to their team now with those two guys. Um, they're going to have multiple playmakers in pick and roll. They're going to settle some of these guys in the right spots, and they were a little bit devastating there toward the end of the half. And it was it was jump shots, you know. And James obviously was getting in the mix too. So um, they're always going to have this really good, strong defensive pressure. They're big, they're athletic out there. It's not small guys, it was except Nick Ziegler, and his um, he gets to you before you can get to him from a size standpoint. Um, you know, they're still going to need a post presence. I think Adu does a really good job with that. I think the young guys can be really good. So, I, I, you know, that's just my take on just watching very briefly a couple games. They, it's not the same as it was. We've been in here a couple times, and um, they play, it, the sport was volleyball when we've been in here. They just kept shooting and getting it back and getting it back. Um, now they just they shoot and make, make a lot of them. Yeah, Coach, your uh, defense came out in the second half and held Tennessee to, uh, I think, only six points in about the first eight minutes. Can you talk about what adjustments you made at halftime to make that happen? Yeah, I, I don't know. We made any adjustments. I think we did it better. Um, I don't think they quite shot as well probably there because, like I said, they kind of found some things. When we made some mistakes with transition defense, they capitalized. We, made a couple, we had less turnovers for one. That helped. That helped. We only had six in the second half. That was huge. Um, but no, I think the guys just actually took the game plan better. Plus, we scored a little bit more, so they got to take it out of bounds. That always helps. Anybody else? John, when you're trying to get your team ready for a game like this, I mean, y'all play a few of these games a year. How do you try to simulate sort of the the, the the size, the quickness when you're going against that? I mean, obviously, you've got good athletes too, but how do you sort of try to get a team ready for that? It's challenging. You talk about it. You watch it. Uh, but at the end of the day, we try to focus on basketball. Um, you know, you know, the cool thing about our sport is 
you know, playing good basketball still wins out. Understanding where to stand, understanding spacing, reading defense, um, being able to read people in situations, basketball acumen, uh, having heart and passion, uh, being able to do it on a repetitive basis, to get knocked down but to get back up, um, to understand this is not about you, it's about uh, you know the name on the front of that the jersey. It's about it's about us, and it's this is an opportunity to come out here and compete. It's not every day gets play against a you know a ranked opponent, and um, for our guys too, a lot of these guys grew up loving the Vols, so it's a big deal for them to come in here. Um, this is probably the most athletic team, but the best team will play. Certainly, be the most challenging crowd will play in. So there's a lot of other things that can distract you before you ever get to the court. And we watched that. Um, I'm not saying that Michigan State got overwhelmed, but they were down 17-1. Um, it was, what, 10 nothing in here pretty, about, for about two and a half minutes in the other exhibition game. Um, we watched that. We didn't want that to happen to us. So um, that's progress. That's understanding. Now you just got to play the game a little better. we, we, we got to play a little bit better. we got to handle the ball. we got to get it where it needs to go. we got to finish the plays. And certainly Tennessee's uh, uh, had a big part to do with that. Anybody else? Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thanks, John.